With Founder, it was a bit of a challenge because it involved me directly. The name was uh, uh, something that made me a little bit nervous at the front end. As a result, I challenged the team quite heavily to come up with the next level of design and specification that was proved out through uh, listening. In terms of bass performance, I wanted to see that the bass was effortless. So we would need low distortion. With higher powered amplifiers, we'd have to have a clean output to higher levels. So we increased the X-Max specification for the drivers, which is the, the amount that they travel, for example. We have a new blend of mineral-filled polypropylene with carbon fiber. Uh, and this makes for a very, very strong driver material that help us reproduce bass frequencies very well. In addition to that, we have a new generation of our Art Surround Active Ridge technology. Uh, there's a new geometry to the pattern of how it helps us keep linearity as we move forward and back. But there's also a new landing surface. So rather than the standard landing surface where we land flat on the basket, we actually have a vertical mounting system which lets us use more of the basket area to have more of a radiating surface to get more base frequencies out. The mid-range was an interesting challenge for us. We wanted to have great clarity, we want to be able to reproduce vocals accurately, and that required looking at many things. We implemented a two-inch voice coil to increase the power handling. We increased the size of the magnet structure using a specially designed pull piece to reduce the distortion level to uh, basically inaudible levels, and that we achieved quite successfully. So something else we folded into this series is the mid-range PPA lens. So the PPA lens is the perforated phase aligning lens. What that lets us do is cancel out of phase frequencies uh, and give us a much more clear, smooth response. And one thing we value here at Paradigm uh, above all else is a very clear mid-range, uh, being that that's the most sensitive place for us to hear sounds. Uh, we wanna make sure that is where we reproduce sounds the most accurately. So the PPA lens helps us do that much better, as well as give us a very iconic look. The most obvious technology when you first look at the Founder series that we've changed is the waveguide. We call it the Oblate Spheroid Waveguide, and what it is is a way for us to control the directivity of the speaker. Rooms have gotten a lot different than they used to be, a lot more hard surfaces, and we don't want the tweeter to interact with everything in the room, so what we've done is we've controlled the directivity of the tweeter by bringing in the sound um, and focusing on the listening area. With the tweeter, we looked to increase the directivity control so that we would reduce the amount of energy that was going into the room off axis. We didn't want to get rid of it in the way that a horn type speaker might do that, where it becomes very dry and you have no sense of, of air in the product. What we wanted to do was have excellent reproduction in the listening position, and we wanted to have a reduced copy of that, but very accurately reduced copy of that at lower levels off axis, so that the reflections off of walls, ceilings, glass, and so on, uh, was not going to disrupt what you were hearing on axis. But if you did get some, it added to a reinforcement of what the music was doing and not confusing you. In addition to the other changes we've made with the drivers and the materials and, and the new geometry of the surrounds, we also have a new shock mount system with a rubber padding on a soft plastic landing that helps us decouple the drivers from the cabinets. So there's no resonances or vibrations traveling back and forth between the cabinet and the drivers. In addition to the isolation on the drivers, there's isolation on the feet as well. So there's two levels of isolation on the feet. Uh, one is isolating the spike from the foot itself, and there's another level of isolation between the foot and the cabinet itself. So these two levels of isolation help us completely decouple the speaker from the floor. One of the most unique things you'll see when you look at most of the series is the cabinet shape. So the cabinet is not only a beautiful tapered cabinet that has a faceted edge that runs on an angle from the top to the bottom, but there's also an extremely rigid design using cascade fusion bracing, as we call it, where it's a brace that runs the entire brake along the speaker line, where it is essentially part of the wrap of the speaker, as well as being a brace on the top of the bottom that makes for an extremely strong cabinet, which is used in addition to horizontal bracing from the top to the bottom of the cabinet. You need to feel the music sometimes. It's more than just sitting and listening and agreeing that it sounds very accurate. So in this regard, Founders does very well for any given size that we built the speaker. It exceeds your expectations. It will play 
stunningly loud. When you do a comparison with another product, the other product will start to struggle long before the founder feels any strain whatsoever. And that allows you to enjoy the performance as it was in your own house. For me, Founder Series really represents a new direction that Paradigm's going in. We've dared to try some really new technologies like our Waveguide, which is a very big departure from what we've done previously, as well as try very aggressive new looks like the faceted cabinet. And I'm really excited to see where it takes us. It's an iconic design that will last for 10 years easily and still look fresh. I'm very proud of what the team has achieved. Not only did they go to work at each level, every component in having performance that exceeded my expectations, what happened when we put it all together, they worked on the crossover, the conclusion was something that uh, quite frankly is breathtaking.